Hello, fellow residents of Tamriel. It is the Beeve, and we are back again. Over the course of the last couple of days, I have been making some videos and doing doing some different things. And you know, I was working on the Magicka Sork that I uh, just posted yesterday, and it kind of got me reminiscing a little bit about my old Lightning Staff double pet build that I used to, I used to love. It was the first build that I was able to really learn how to light attack weave with, learn how to rotate with, and, you know, started my, my journey towards, you know, higher damage numbers. Uh, that was my main tune for the longest time. I was able to go in and do all kinds of challengers, get all, all the different, uh, skins from the DLC dungeons and complete veteran trials and whatnot with this uh, particular build. And it, it, it just really got me in my feels, so to speak, about, you know, missing that build. So I dedicated last night to trying to figure something out that's very similar and very viable. Um, obviously, it is not going to be a, a meta tier build by any means, but I, I got this. I got this build hitting pretty hard for a traditional, uh, old school, you know, pet sork. And uh, I'd like to kind of share with you what I've what I've found so far. So let's buff ourselves for it off the bat here. Maximum magic is at 32,000, health at 26,000, stamina at 14,000. We have a uh, 44, 29, or 23 spell damage, a 58% spell critical rating, uh, 1639 physical and spell penetration. And uh, the one thing about this is our resistances are low. We're sitting at 13,000 and 12,000. Uh, for the sake of this parse, I have went on the back bar with uh, the lightning flood and uh, the uh, barb trap. Either one of these can be switched out for a uh, hurricane or lightning form uh, for the 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 the, the sork uh, to give you your uh, re your major resolve, and that will give you. Uh, still damage output as well. Not as good as the as the 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 lightning flood or the barb trap, but it, it'll make it it'll make it still pretty viable. But if you are in a group there where you are able to, you know, give yourself somebody. If you're in a group that's being uh, minor forces, you know, f somehow being provided for you through a, a set of some sort or whatnot. Uh, you can always drop off the the barb trap and go with uh, the the lightning form, or go with uh, hurricane, or if you just need them as well, yeah, you know, you'll lose ten percent critical strike damage, but you'll be giving yourself a little hearty boost to your to your damage mitigation. We go into our gear. It's going to look very similar on our uh, jewelry and our our front bar weapon we are using uh, perfected reliquins here i have a <clears throat> lightning staff because the, uh, the the lightning staff the heavy attack damage on a lightning staff is is really good the uh the lightning staff also uh buffs uh, you know single target damage as well which is going to be our you know, our, our uh, the the final tick on the the heavy attack, the 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 bird zap, the fall volatile familiars zap, your crystal fragments, the explosion off of the daedric prey. So you know, those are all single target damage effects. So the the lightning staff buffs all those as well. And I, in case I didn't just go over it, because I don't think I did, this isn't precise, and it, it has a flame damage glyph on it. I'm trying to make sure that I'm proccing 
the, the burning status effect as often as possible. Uh, the rings and jewelry all are in bloodthirsty and all have weapon and spell damage enchantments on it. The reliquin set is a medium armor set that can be found in the Cloud Rush trial. Uh, as always, the perfected is not a requirement by any means. The especially for this build, uh, you're you're getting an extra thousand and ninety six maximum stamina from the perfected version of this, which isn't really doing us any any favors as a lightning sork. Our back bar weapon, we are using the Maelstrom's Perfected Inferno Staff. We are using this infused with a weapon and spell damage enchantment on it. Uh, this is a weapon that is found in the uh, Maelstrom Arena. You get the perfected version, obviously, from, co from completing the uh, veteran version of the dungeon. The perfected version, the only benefit to it is an extra 1,190 offensive penetration, which, just like with the two-hand from the Maelstrom, doesn't really do us uh, any good on the Trial Atronach because we're already at cap. And for all the longer you're on that, that back bar reapplying dots, you're not going to see a huge difference or maybe even not a difference at all when it comes to uh, just regular content. So the perfected version of this is not a requirement either. Our monster helm, as always, we are going with Zahn head and shoulders. The, uh, the Zahn is a helm that is acquired from doing the scale collar peak dungeon on veteran uh, when you complete it you get a zon mask guys or uh what's the other one helm and then the shoulder pieces then the you can get those from the the orc undaunted lady in the uh undaunted enclave you can you can purchase the coffers with your keys to you know have a chance at you know getting the getting the shoulder pieces. Uh, as you've seen before, our other five piece set on the body is gonna be the Highland Sentinel. The Highland Sentinel is a craftable set that is uh, pretty easily gotten at this point. Uh, most, uh, if you're not able to craft it yourself, you can always find uh, master crafters in any one of the guilds that you're in. And uh, if for some reason you can't find that, then you uh, you can always just go out into zone and find somebody out there doing it it might cost you a little bit of scratch for for you know having somebody else do it for you but i mean there's going to be nice people out there that are going to do it for you plain and simple <clears throat> the uh, highland sentinel and uh my my zon head and shoulders are all in divines and all with the maximum magicka enchant on them And uh, why I'm using Zaun for this build right here, that you could definitely go with like Maw of Infernal if you wanted to. It's going to have similar damage output. But uh, the, the burning status effect that every tick of the Zaun creates is going to help make our uh, unstable wall you know, ten, do 10% more damage. Anything that's affected by a burning status effect while standing inside of a unstable wall that was created by an inferno staff takes 10 percent more damage so that that is why i've went with zon right here just to boost the damage on that unstable wall from my maelstrom's perfected inferno staff <clears throat> champion trees green you can do what you want red i do suggest uh, boundless vitality slotted and make sure you have your hero's vigor uh, filled in as well so you're getting as much maximum health out of this build <clears throat> i have fortified and rejuvenation here i could trade the rejuvenation out for anything else i wanted i, I don't really need that 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 magic of stamina and uh, health recovery it's just I, I haven't put anything else in there. If you're doing solo content, you can always go with siphoning spells to give yourself 
uh, Magicka back every time you kill things and definitely not ever have a Magicka problem. Um, yeah, there, there, there's just, there's, I mean, you can do whatever you want to do here, but our blue tree, obviously we're going to fill in all of our constellations that do not need to be slotted, like our blessed for more healing, our Eldritch Insight for Magicka, our Timeless Discipline for Stamina, our Precision for Critical Chance. Out in the Starving Death, we're doing Quick Recovery, Hardy, Elemental Aegis, and Preparation. All of those are damage reductions that are, are, are nice to have. Over in our, our Extended Might, we are using Piercing, Flawless Ritual, War Mage, Battle Mastery, and Mighty. These are all... Uh, damage increasing uh, constellations that will not require you to have them slotted. <clears throat> In an effort to get completely to my 125% uh, critical strike damage cap, uh, I am using Fighting Finesse, and I have forewent having Wrathful Strikes for that purpose. We are using Deadly Aim, we are using Master at Arms, and then we are using Weapons Master because we want that heavy attack that we're throwing out every rotation to just pop as hard as possible. One thing I know I forgot to go over is that I am wearing... Uh, six medium and one light on the body right now. And another thing that I should go over is that right now I am using... Uh, this food is a very cheap blue fluid. This is the Mistral uh, Banana Bunny Hash. It just gives max health and max... Maximum uh, Magicka. Max Maximum. <laughs> maximum Magicka. And that is why, you know, when we go into the character sheet, you see the... You see the, the health at, you know, 26,625. The, the uh, Magicka at 32,000. If we would go with five medium, one light, one heavy, we'd actually have a little bit more health a little bit more maximum magic, a little bit more stamina. We would lose a little bit of uh, our critical strike damage in the process to 2%. So it's, it wouldn't be a huge amount, but we would gain, if we were to put like a heavy helm on, uh, we would gain a little bit more maximum health from the undaunted passive. And we'd gain a little bit more maximum health as well from the heavy armor passive. So, Take with that what you will, however you would like to do it. Right now, I am pushing the, the highest... Uh, I'm min-maxing for as much damage as I possibly can. Our skills is where it's going to start looking a lot more nostalgic than before. You know, we used to run Necropotence and, like, Mother Sorrow with this build. And it was, uh, it was really good damage back then. Uh, things have changed since then. So, you know, having on the Reliquins, having on the Highland Sentinel, having on the Zaun uh, are all... You know, the Zaun not so much is different, but, like, the Reliquins and the Highland Sentinel obviously weren't combinations years and years ago. But we are using the Unstable Wall of Fire. This is going to proc our Maelstrom weapon. We are using Lightning Flood. This is uh, just a. It, this is good damage right here, and for as much as we crit, it's gonna be it's gonna be hitting pretty hard as as well. Uh, barb trap. This is gonna give us bleed damage up front, bleed damage over time, minor force, and uh, it's gonna you know trigger the hemorrhaging status effect for us. Uh, we have volatile familiar on the uh, on both bars, obviously, and we have twilight tormentor on both bars. The tormentor is not a necessity here if you wanted to go with the matriarch so you had your own type of healing like if you're going into single player content that matriarch heals tremendously well it's it's a powerful powerful uh healer um 
you activate it and bam, you're back to full health. And, and, and it, it, it's just, it's, it's an awesome, it, it, it's an awesome healing uh, technique if you are, uh, or resource if you are, you know, doing content yourself if you're if you're doing solo content i have power lo overload on the front bar this is just here to be here you can put here whatever you want it's kind of utility ish if you if you wanted something different here you could put something different here not a big deal actually just for the shits and giggles of it we already have one mage's guild ability on the on the front bar, so I'm gonna go ahead and put one on the back bar, and it should even out our our magicka. Yeah, see, it used to be we had a little less magicka on the front bar than on the back bar. Now they're even. All right. On the front bar, we are using our volatile familiar. We are using our Daedric prey. We are using crystal fragments. We are using scalding rune. And once again, Tormentor as well. And then we have the Summon Charged Atronach. This guy is a beast. He hits like a truck. The uh, rotation is uh, pretty simple. We're going to activate both pets when we start the battle, and then that'll be the last time we activate the Tormentor. That's it. We're going to activate him at the beginning and never activate him again. But we're going to activate both pets. We're going to Light Attack Unstable Wall, Light Attack Lightning Flood, Light attack, barb trap, then bar swap. We're going to light attack, daedric prey, light attack, summon volatile familiar, light attack, scalding rune. And any time that the crystal fragments proc in this, uh, during all of those, we're going to be, you know, if, if, we, if we light attack, daedric prey in crystal fragments procs, we're going to light attack, crystal fragment. At any point, if it procs after any of the abilities we do, we are going to throw it. This is a heavy damage dealer. It takes priority. <clears throat> the reason that we're using the Scalding Rune here is it's a nice, you know, flame damage up front. It's got a flame damage over time. But when you go into the... Into the Mage's Guild, you have the... Might of the Guild passive here, and uh, casting a Mage's Guild ability grants you empower, increasing the damage of your heavy attacks against monsters by 70% for 10 seconds. So, we always want to make sure that the Scalding Rune is the last thing that we throw out before we heavy attack, so we're getting that empowered on the heavy attack and getting that much more extra burst damage out of that heavy attack. And if you follow that rotation right there, the <clears throat> amount of damage you can do is pretty impressive. Now, I will say that uh, there are rotations sometimes where I'll get through my Daedric Prey, my Summon Volatile Familiar, and my Scalding Rune, and I will never have a Crystal Fragment Prox. If that happens, you're going to see me, uh, you're going to see me channel cast a Crystal Fragment before heavy attacking just to see if I can get a proc. Uh, you might even see me do it two times if I didn't get a proc the first time. So, I mean, it, it's something you got to play around with, but general rule of thumb for me to you is going to be if, if this doesn't proc by the time you throw out your scalding room, throw one or two crystal fragments of the channeled crystal fragments and see if it procs. And if it does hit the proc and then heavy attack, uh, that's going to help. Yeah, that that's gonna help. You know, give it even if it's just the the channeled version of this, it still does really good damage. So it's still gonna hit. It's gonna take 0.8 seconds to to go off. So there's a little bit of channel to it, but it's still gonna do damage and it's gonna keep the keep your overall parse numbers high. So once again, to go over this, activating both pets, uh, light attack on stable wall, light attack lightning flood, flood light attack. Barb Trap, Bar Swap, Light Attack, Daedric Prey, Light Attack, Summon Vault Familiar, Light Attack, Scalding Rune. At any point in time, if these Crystal Fragments proc, you're going to be hitting those. After the Scalding Rune, we're going to do a Fully Charged Heavy Attack. <laughs> bar Swap, start over. Pretty simple. Doesn't get any, doesn't get any simpler than that. And, uh... 
it does pretty good damage. And for for if you're anything like me, it's going to be nostalgic, nostalgic AF. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, activate pet. Now I'm going to throw out this too, just to get it started. Why not? Okay. I have... Wow. Sometimes... <laughs> Sometimes the PTS is laggy. I went to throw out things and like I double light attacked instead of it. And even though I pushed the button, it didn't show up on the screen, but it, it showed up on the timer. Like I was weird. I don't know. PTS can be very temperamental. So we're going to let our... We're going to let our pot reset, and then we're going to try this again. I'm going to go ahead and throw this out and let this start anyway, like, like we are going to. Now, the uh, barb trap, you don't need to redo that. It's a 20 second long, so you don't need to reapply it every rotation. You can get away with doing it every, ro every other rotation like I'm doing here. <laughs> there we have it. <laughs> A completely, <coughs> completely <laughs> nostalgic pet sork lightning staff build, and it hit 104k. Uh, that is, that's. 
pretty awesome. <laughs> I love it. I might start using this just for the nostalgia, nostalgic factor to it. Uh, going into like, uh, and maybe maybe not like score run trials, obviously, or anything like this, but that 100K is a viable option to go into trials with as long as... Uh, as long as you're getting yourself some major resolve in some way, shape, or form, which a lot of times you will be. Uh, if you're running with a, a warden tank or a warden uh, healer in, uh, in group, and they're running like expansive frost cloak and giving everybody within 28 meters major resolve, uh, like you, you, this build will work good going into something like that going into regular content absolutely like uh, it's a lot of damage for regular content as well so we got uh crystal fragments coming in top of the list at 8300 it averaged 67k maxed out at 79 almost 80k uh, arms of reliquin second at 8000 uh, unstable wall third 8000 light attacks Fourth at sixty nine hundred. Uh, summon volatile twi or summon uh, twilight tormentor sixty seven hundred. <clears throat> Atronox strike. Look at him. He hit eighty. He, he was he hit as high as eighty k. He's 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 a badass. Uh, sixty five hundred lightning flood fifty four hundred. Now here's uh, our our lightning attack. Our lightning staff heavy attack was uh, five thousand. Now this was only the final pop on the the lightning staff uh and it hit as high as 81 that's pretty darn good but if we go down a little bit further down here here's another lightning staff uh heavy attack at 2800 so when you're at uh you know 5000 and 2800 you're at you know 7800 which would actually have this up here in like fourth place rather than all the way down here. But since they calculate the damage differently on the combat metrics right here, they, that, that is you know, why they're, it looks the way that it does. Uh, volatile familiar. Look at this. He's 4,700 and 4,300. So the, you know, you're, there's 9,000 right there. He's going to be, he's going to be top as crazy as that. As crazy as that looks, uh, he is going to be the, the, the top damage dealer right here at nine, you know, nine, 9,000. Our burning and our zone, you know, 39 and 38, concussion, uh, 36, scalding rune, 35. The, there's going to be another scalding rune here, too, another 18. Uh, our unstable wall, I forgot about this, so... We got an unstable wall here for, you know, 2,000, and then another unstable wall here for 8,000. So actually, this is going to be top dog. He, he's, a, he's the unstable wall is over 10. A barb trap hemorrhaging the initial, you know, damage, the, 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 the damage that the Atronach does when being called in overcharged sundered i mean there's just a lot of a lot of different things going on right there now you don't see like crazy crazy numbers like you will from having like a spammable type of uh build but you can see that even not having a spammable type of build and doing something that is old school and more nostalgic than anything else you can still produce damage in this game 104k you're going to clear any veteran content when it comes to you know dungeons dlc dungeons uh you won't have any problems going into uh craglorn trials or some of the older trials um in the right group you can still be very helpful in uh the 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 harder uh you know harder newer trials and whatnot uh, with that being said, uh, you're definitely probably not going to get invited to any score runs or people that are looking for trifectas and things like that in trials. But 104K is nothing to sneeze at in any way, shape, or form. It's a lot of damage, and 
you can't beat it. It's awesome. And for as nostalgic as that really was for me, I'm absolutely loving it. I'm pumped right now over the whole situation. And I, 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 I really want to turn my, <laughs> really want to turn my tune into that to be able to use it again like that. And I'm going to do it to be completely honest with you. Now, I think, I think that's really all I got for you with this build. Uh, it's just, uh, I, I was hope. Oh, you know. Okay, so um, let me. This isn't all I got. There are going to be lots of instances where you can't hold still, and that sentinel's eye is the 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 sentinel stuff uh, is not going to be viable. I've got a solution for that. I really do. And what we do is we trade out the Highland Sentinel for the Kinraws. This is a medium armor set that is found in Black Drake Villa. Uh, this just gives you a couple of lines of weapon and spell damage, a line of critical, and uh, anytime you're dealing light or heavy attack damage, uh, it grants you a stack of burning heat at five stacks. You get this aura around you that uh, in gives you major berserk, increasing your damage down by 10%, and any members within that 12 meter aura also get minor berserk, so you're helping out your, your, your fellow uh your fellow DPS and whatnot. Now, to be completely honest, a lot of times the, that minor berserk is going to be provided with uh, combat prayer from a healer or something like that. So, but I mean, if not, you're providing it. So, regardless, it's going to it's it's a bonus. And uh, yes, our our critical strike chance is going to get a lot lower than it was, but. We're going to stack more weapon and spell damage on top of more damage from the Major Berserk. So we're making sure that even though we're not critting as often as we are with the Highland Sentinel, the crits that we are getting normally are heavier hitting than before. So it kind of cancels each other out, honestly. Uh, when I run parses with this, I'm not going to do it right now because it's just going to take up way too much time and make this video way too long. But uh, I've hit very similar numbers, 102 to 103K with the Kinraws. So uh, you can mix and match them how you like, but it works, plain and simple. Uh, I've even mixed in the Leviathan here. This is a medium armor set out of, uh, what, Crypto Hearts, I think it is. And, uh, you know, this just gives you credit, credit, Crit, 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 and st maximum stamina. So uh, the, the the nice thing about this uh, particular uh, set right here is that you don't have to hold still for it. Your crit your crit damage won't get as high, but I, I've seen this hit in like the 97 to 98 range. Uh, with uh, and, and So it's an, a viable option as well in this uh, situation. But that is, uh, that is all I got for you guys. I appreciate it, uh, you tuning in. Uh, appreciate it kindly. Uh, if you guys would give me a like or follow, that would be really cool. You can give me a follow over on Kick as well at the underscore beef zero one. And uh, maybe uh, start getting some people over there so that we can, we can do some live things over there and you know, test things out for people and let them try things out that they don't have the ability to try out on their own. But uh, that is all I got for you guys. Thank you very much for tuning in and happy adventuring.